Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. With this video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who once again, relating to that topic of great companions that never were in the history of Doctor Who. Background characters, actors or actresses that, for one reason or another, always caught my attention and made me think they would have been much more interesting on further adventures in time and space in the TARDIS with the Doctor. In this particular case, I'm going back to Series 1 with the second episode ever. It was actually the first that I've ever laid my eyes on of the series, The End of the World. And the character of Jabe of the Forest of Cheem. Now, there comes a moment in that episode that is so poignant and so just gets me misty-eyed, even now, watching it so many years after it debuted, where Eccleston's doctor is trying to save this space station, uh, you know, overlooking the end of the world, effectively, and he and this tree lady, Jabe, you know, they're trying to figure out the computer systems or what have you, and she says, I scanned you, you know, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that, you know, you're, you're not even supposed to be in existence. She knows very much about the Time Lords and the Time War, and the aftermath of that. And you can see that Eccleston's Ninth Doctor is visibly moved. He tears up as well. And that's one of those things where the rapport on and off between their characters in that episode, I mean, you see Rose kind of like distancing herself a little bit and kind of being put off a little bit to a comic degree where she's, that is Jabe, is kind of getting flirty with the Doctor and he's getting flirty with her, you know. I think he loves meeting new species. I don't know if he's familiar with these tree people and that kind of thing. Um, but it's very interesting to me that they have a rapport from right off the bat. And of course, when, you know, I've done many of these videos talking about characters I thought would have been interesting on further adventures, one of the recurring things you'll find is yet again she was a character that was very redeemable she did something very honorable and noble she sacrificed herself for the greater good trying to help the doctor save everyone and for that and that alone I think she was deserving maybe of being taken off on adventures now I've also touched upon alien characters you know like uh, novice Haim and stuff like that that I think would have been really interesting to have an alien element an alien companion in the you know, with the Doctor as a companion traveling around time and space to switch things up a little bit. I don't think we always need an Earthling companion necessarily. Uh, you know, you think back to the Doctor and Romana. Well, neither one of them were human, yet Romana still served as sort of the input like the companion would, even with her just great intelligence, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so in any case, I think, you know, Jabe of the Forest of Chain would have added many aspects, many flavors, so to speak, in that she would have been exotic, she would have been an alien, you know, sort of royal character, I guess you could say, and it would have been very interesting to me because, again, she has that sort of flirtatious rapport with the Doctor that wouldn't get in the way, I don't think. I don't think it would actually become anything like an actual romance, like with the Rose Doctor scenario, and uh, or the Martha <laughs> Doctor scenario, where it was unrequited. I think they would have been playful. It would have been kind of like Donna and the Doctor in certain aspects. And again, would have just added an alien flair that maybe, you know, they could go to an alien world and she would know something a little more about the surroundings than the Doctor would, being that, you know, maybe they're in her time zone or something along those lines. And uh, to make up for, as I say, her selflessness in saving the day. So I think Jabe would have been an interesting character to have had on further adventures in time and space, not necessarily undoing anything of what we got with Rose and everything like that, but, you know, in a sort of alternate spin, which is kind of what I do with these videos every once in a while anyway. So, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of Jabe of the Forest of Cheem from the End of the World episode from Series 1, and uh, if you think she could have been a fitting companion on further adventures. Otherwise, that'll be it for me on this one. Hope, it's, hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you later. Peace.